Atlantic cod. Glorious. So loved that we overfished the heck out of them. But good news though, there's some sustainable options available. The meat is mild in taste and flaky in texture and perfect for my cod and ricotta stuffed calzone. So a few recipes in this fish cookbook are all about bread and pastry. This is Atlantic salt cod. I've just soaked it for a few hours and it draws out some of that salt and it's ready to use. It's gonna be delicious in a funky calzone. I just need to cook it. You don't need a super hard crust on it. I just want it to become nice and flaky. So this recipe is quite simple. It's just onions, garlic, red pepper, fennel, and some fresh ricotta. Ricotta is super rad for this recipe. I just need to get to work on some veg. That's a beautiful crust, really good texture. I'm just gonna add some water and it'll steam it really nicely. That can hang out. And I get another pan for my vegetables. Fennel goes so well with cod. It's got like this really great licorice flavor to it. And some onions, when they cook down, they get really nice and sweet. You can put the garlic right in there. And then for a little vibrant crunch and sweetness, some red pepper. And this doesn't take long. I just have to soften it up, and then I get to work with puff pastry. I'm so excited. The veg is really nice and soft. It's done its job, but it still has really good texture. That can go right into my bowl. Yes. The salt cod is finished as well. And if you look at it, it just flakes just like that, and it's nice and seasoned and a good crust. You just take it with my hands and I put it in there. That's extremely hot. And you just mix it up, add some fresh parsley for a vibrant, bright, fragrant finish. I just put this on a flat tray, so when I do put it in the fridge, it cools down extra fast. Now while that cools, I'm gonna show you a couple really nice tricks with store-bought puff pastry. This stuff is just layers and layers of butter and pastry. And when you make it, you just fold it, roll it, fold it. You just build layer on layer on layer, and when you cook it, it's gonna rise. So calzone is like a big half moon, and usually it's made with pizza dough, but this is so fun and adds great texture, making it with puff pastry. And I'm just gonna cut out a couple of big circles. All right, look at that. This is at the perfect temperature, and now I can finish it. Ricotta cheese, oh yeah, that is happening right now. And you know what ricotta loves? It loves salt from the salt cod, and it loves black pepper. It also loves me and a little bit of olive oil, and I love you too. That's it for our calzone filling. Seriously, just mix it up. It smells so lovely, I have to taste it. Mm. That salt cod is so good, it's really nice and salty, and it has kind of this like romantic fishiness to it. I think it's lovely. Just some egg wash, and I can assemble. Egg wash has two parts in this recipe. One, it's gonna stick it together, and two, it's gonna make it look pretty. With a filling. Egg wash job number one, gotta seal the deal. And then you can just fold it over into that classic calzone half moon shape. Make sure it's nice and sealed. Here's another great trick. Take your fork and really seal the deal. Look at 
look at that. Now there's gonna be a lot of steam that happens in here. So I just wanna give it some marks to let the steam out and then it looks really pretty when it comes out of the oven. And egg wash job number two, if you coat this in egg wash, it's gonna have this really great deep golden crust to it. I use a nice high heat for this because I want it to puff quickly, get a nice crust and I'm hungry. Yes, yes, it's fully happening right now. I love folding it over a few times. It just guarantees a good puffiness and the egg wash on there, nice and golden brown. And you can see my steam escape slices. That's what I'm calling it. I use a little bread knife to cut it open because I want to see everything inside. Look at how nice and cooked the pastry is. How awesome is that? The salt cod is so nice and flaky. It's such a great texture after it's been packed in salt and cooked like that. The sweetness from the fennel and the crunch of the pastry, that's what I love about fish. You can do so many different things with it. And it's all about bread and pastry, and this is gonna be a great snack.